Thursday, the 14th of September at 2,256 bar photos copyright. There were no big surprises in Rudy Garcia's selection for the season's first Europa League group phase match against Konyaspor. With Mandanda injured, Pele was in goal for the Olympians. Himavi replaced Evra on the left of defence and, most significantly, Kamara was thrown in at the deep end alongside Luis Gustavo, who returned to the side after his League One suspension. With the attendance down and the end supporters grouped together in the south stand though didnt come in until 10 minutes into the game and they made themselves noticed, the atmosphere inside the velodrome stadium was strangely unusual. This didnt prevent the Marseille players from dominating both the ball and the game. But out of the four shots Om had in the first half, only one was on target a long-range shot by Payet, which the Turkish goalkeeper managed to stop then catch at the second attempt. Sanson had attempted a volley prior to this but it went over the top. As did a shot from Payet following a good team move begun by Kamara and continued by German and Sanson with some one-touch football. Additionally, Thoven also shot over the top after a great run by Payet complete with a nutmeg along the way. The Turks quietly sat back and waited for Rudy Garcia's men. They did have two counter-attacks the first ended with a shot from Ivana that went wide, and the second came right at the end of the half. Though Om struggled to threaten very often in the first half, they didnt hang about in the second half. Straight after the players returned from the dressing rooms after the break, Payet won a corner following some good work by Sakai on the right, though the man from Reunion's resulting shot was blocked. He took responsibility for taking the corner and placed it right on the head of Rami, who was alone and unmarked at the back post. The defender seized the opportunity and sent the ball into the back of the net with a powerful header. Few the stalemate was broken at last. Little inclined to venture out of their own half, the Turks closed ranks a bit more. This gave Om even more of the ball to a certain extent, and they took advantage of it. Amavi picked out Germain, whose volley crashed against Kieran Talis crossbar. On the one-hour mark it was Pelé's turn to be saved by the bar when Borebia unleashed a powerful shot. Sakai had a shot stopped by the opposition's keeper then Payet just missed getting one on target. Rudy Garcia took advantage of the one-goal lead to make some changes, with the team due back in action again on Sunday afternoon in Amiens. Ocampos, SARR and Zambo Anguissa came on as replacements for Germain, Thoven and Payet, three players whose freshness could be very useful at Amiens Stade de la Lacorne Stadium. Sanson came within an inch of doubling the score, but Kieran Tealy managed to knock it past for a corner. The few chances the Turks had at the end of the match were dealt with well by Pele and his defence. After two defeats in a row in League One, Om thus gets back into winning ways at home in the Europa League. This narrow 10 victory achieves the essential first place in Group 1 and regained confidence. Group 1 as it stands March Day 1 14 September um 10 Konia, Spor Vittoria SC 11 RB Salzburg 1 Om 3 points 2 RB Salzburg 1.3 Vittoria SC 1.4 Konia, Spor 0 points Match Day 2. 28 September Salzburg, Omkonya Spor, Vittoria SC Analyze.